All right, ladies. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk through the bill drill and we're gonna talk through uh, two reload two and we're gonna talk through a couple of things to where I want you guys to start uh, implementing this into your practice. And I guarantee you, if you start doing what I tell you to do here, you will get way, way faster at everything. The reason I am a fast shooter is simply because I have the utmost confidence in my ability to force this stupid freaking thing to do what I tell it to. I tell this son of a bitch to put holes where I want it to and that's it, it's gonna listen. It will do what I tell it to do. You are stupid, you do what I tell you to do, okay? It's okay. <laughs> we don't wanna be too rough on her now, but you better be subordinate, you better listen to what the hell I'm telling you to do, and you better do it, okay? It's up to me to force this thing to do what I tell it to do. It is exploding. It is flying all over. It wants to do stupid shit. It wants to fling rounds all over the place. I tell it what to do, okay? So that's the first thing. We got to understand that we force our limbs. We force this gun to do what we want it to do. We force that, that sight to go where we want it to go, and we force it to stay there. Right now, we, we're, we're high intensity, high aggression, just just mean about telling this thing what to do. Then we have to be fluid at the same time. We have to be smooth. We have to be relaxed. So we're talking about all this intensity of telling this thing what to do, telling my left hand what to do. All of these things in, in these two little drills, a two reload two and a build drill. Uh, we're, we're, we're highly intense about what we're doing and how we're, how we're forcing our brain, how we're forcing our limbs to react, how we're forcing this gun to do what we want it to. But we have to melt all the steps together and we have to be relaxed and fluid about it. Most people, when they get here and they, they, uh, they want to shoot well or shoot fast, this is kind of what I see. Bang, bang, you know? It's bang, bang. Bang, bang. And it's super hard and, and really just step by step by step. We're doing one task and then another task and then another task. What we need to do is start to really round those edges together, melt all the edges together and end up looking like ding, 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 ding. Okay, really melting shit together, always moving, always shooting. If you're not shooting, we're doing stuff. That's how you get good at classifiers. That's how you. Uh, that's how you you get that confidence in your abilities, and the time just starts shaving off. Okay, we can be rough and aggressive and really pushing the gun out. Just, just okay. We, we we need some of that, but we also need to be always doing stuff. Right? We need to be always moving, always doing shit. We cannot be one task, then another task, then another task. Can't do it like that. So how do we do that? How do we melt that together? The way I do it is from right here, no matter what I just did, whether it's a reload or coming into position, uh, moving, whatever it is, from this moment to this moment, I'm all intensity, all aggression, okay? So when my gun is, is almost my my grip is almost built and I'm pushing that gun out the last six eight inches of its travel out presentation my top triangle this is all aggression this is mean making this son of a bitch do what I tell it to everything in here nice and loose and relaxed as soon as I break my grip off the gun my right hand loosens up I still have a nice little clamp grip on it I'm still pinching up into the gun and all that you know I'm not gonna fling my gun somewhere but aggressive loose aggressive loose okay so that's the easiest way i can tell you guys to get better and better at this shit and melt shit together so that you're not looking like a robot you're not one task after another okay super aggressive from the time that you start to to get that linchpin and you're hooking your your grip and you're starting to really apply that pressure you're taking those arms of the pliers and you're just eh, out there to the rest of your grip and you're in your top triangle position this right here is aggression your, your hands are aggressive, your wrists are aggressive, and your elbows are nice and loose. Here, aggression. Driving that gun, telling it what to do. Loose, chilling out. Telling it what to do, loose, okay? 
we force our limbs to do the jobs, we force our, our, our processing speed to go faster. So when we're doing drills like this, all we need to do is send it. Just freaking rip on it. Do it faster than you've ever done it, okay? Do it faster than you've ever done it every time, all right? There's so much practice that needs to be done in speed mode that people just aren't doing. People are not pushing themselves. We have to push ourselves and force this thing to do what we tell it to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip a build drill into this and then we'll do a two R2 or something. And uh, I am simply forcing this gun to do what I tell it to. I'm nice and relaxed and loose and all that, whatever. But as soon as I get to extension, I'm saying, all right, now it's go time. Now it's work time, okay? And I'm trying to melt everything together. So it's all one step. Even a two reload two, all the reps, okay? We've got a draw. We've got two shots, recoil control, two sight pictures, ding, ding. Coming back, releasing magazine, coming back, getting a purchase on the new mag, coming up in, establishing a smashing that magazine in there, grinding our grip back on and establishing grip again. Two more shots, two more sight pictures, recoil control. All these uh, reps and steps in there. Plenty of steps and plenty of reps to that. How do we make it nice and fluid all the way through? By pushing ourselves faster than we ever have. Just simply forcing yourself to do the job faster. Forcing yourself to roll up to the target, let those two shots fly and uh, forcing that left hand or, or whatever your reload hand is to drive that magazine in and, and build that grip back, forcing it to do the job. You, you have to push each individual limb of your body past that point, past it, just, just send it. It's the, it's the one thing that, that everybody needs. Everyone is so worried about what the target looks like. Who cares? Who cares what the target looks like? When, when we're in accuracy mode or we're in match mode, yeah, we care what the, what the target looks like. But when we're in speed mode and we're trying to, to really get our, our mechanics down, we're trying to get our fluidity and our, our, our steps all melded together, don't worry about the target. Try your best to shoot A's. Try your best to hit that six inch circle or whatever the hell you're aiming for. But don't worry about it. If you pull shots, think about them. That's all we need to do. So let's do a build drill here. Okay, 163, I've got uh, one low, one uh, belly button smacker, and the rest of her is good. 163, 68 first shot, 21, 18, 20, 19, 17. Just, just forcing myself to put that together, okay? So let's do a two reload two. Two zero three, and we've got one char. Well, that's a D. <laughs> we got one Charlie um, down to the left, and one just to the side of the A. So I'm forcing myself to do that job. I am forcing myself to hit this shit. I'm forcing myself to do that. That's not natural to do a two zero three, two reload two with with decent hits. It's not natural for me to be able to do that. I'm forcing that to happen. Now I'm trying to be loose and letting things happen and rolling through the, through the drills, but I'm forcing myself to see what I need to see. I'm forcing that gun to go where I want it to go. Telling it, put a freaking hole right there and right there 
and write that, okay? It's just, you have to let her eat, you have to. And then, eventually you get to the point where you can do some of this shit really, really well, but not worry about, I'm at seven yards right now. We are, we're doing work. Two twelve. Okay, I got one C just a little bit over to the right and one just below the A zone. So A's and C's at that speed, psh, I'm good with it, I'm chilling. Let's do it again. I'm forcing this. Now I'm gonna force two A's, or four A's. All right, so I did pull one of those. I came back on and pulled one of those uh, to the left, uh, bottom left of the A zone, 219, okay? Let's get that done. Now that I'm not happy with, okay? So I'm gonna force this one a little harder, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more intensity, and let her rip. All right, didn't get the mag out of my way. Came up a little quick. I've gotten uh, I've gotten my my pluck out of the mag pouch uh, pretty solid to the point where I got to get my magazine out of the gun quickly or I'll I'll end up hitting it. So what I'm doing this is speed mode. This is letting her rip. Okay. So what I want on the target is basically A's and C's. I just want to cover a nice little spot like this on that target. We're at 20 feet, 21 feet here. <sighs> I'm pushing, I'm forcing to see what I need to see. And, and oh, by the way, on these first shots, I'm indexing just the SRO. Just the SRO, just indexing. I'm, I'm, this is how I practice, this is what I do. I force the shit to happen. Two zero five. Let's get one under two. Well, here I got a slide lock, I think. Let's do one slide lock. With the rack, 264, all good. Let's talk about how to do drills like this or anything with a reload, okay? How do we speed up that reload? How do I do a well, let's just do a fast reload real quick. See what the time is. Okay. So that's a 94, two good shots. Yeah, 94 split, 94 reload. Okay, how do I do that? How the hell am I doing that? Well, just like on transitions, I am not controlling recoil on that second shot. I'm allowing the gun to bounce back into my workspace. I'm here, boom. I don't have to control recoil. I, the, the shot, I know if it's a Virginia count type of thing or whatever it is, I know it's a two reload two. My second shot, I'm not controlling that recoil. I'm not going and then in, no. It, it doesn't, you don't have to control recoil for the bullet to go where it goes. The bullet's gonna go where it goes. So, as you watch this, the second shot is not gonna be controlled recoil. It's gonna be a good shot, but then I let it bounce back into me. Okay, obviously that's exaggerated, but that's what we wanna do. Let that thing bounce back to you. Let the gun do some of the work, okay? We talked about being super aggressive and having that intensity when we're out here. But as soon as we go to do another task, it's almost like taking a breath, like loosen up and then intensity. Loosen, intensity. Okay, let's see what that was. That was a 120 reload. Just showing you that uh, you can let that gun bounce back into your workspace. So 
I'll tell you what we'll do. We're gonna shred a bill drill into this target right here. All the all the stuff is marked. I want to paint that A zone. This this the bill drill that painting, acting like your red dot or your front sight is a is a paintbrush and painting that A zone. That's all I'm trying to do is slap paint on that A zone with that that dot. Okay, as it flies around, I'm just boom, 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 slapping paint on there. Let this thing go. Holy shit. Well, that one I let go pretty hard. Wow, that was my fastest build drill ever. So let's take a look at that old girl, 143. Okay, what was the first shot? 54, first shot. 22, 16, 17, 18, 16, 16. Let's take a look at the Targeet, because that was a, a pretty good build drill. There's three, uh, three out. But when you get, get going uh, pretty fast there, uh, I guess, guess I'm in the zone. All right, so if we're going fast, we may as well keep going fast. Let me try that one more time. Okay, that one I pulled quite a few. <laughs> Charlie's 143 again. Seven yards, two reload, two, trying to get A's. Well, it's a small A zone, four inch A zone, but. Well, that's 217. Let's see where the shots went. Two of them are right on the line, perfect. Okay, so one two, three, four. Now this is a four inch A zone. So it's not nearly a whole size A zone. I cut them a little small because when the targets are little fatty targets like this, I try to make them small. So if that was a full size A zone, I believe all these would be in. These three right here. Awesome. 217. For A's, that's, that's a pretty solid time. Obviously I can go under two seconds if I sling them, but Let's just try that one. Let me see how long this is. Let's just try to send a, a two reload to maximum speed. Okay, so two of those are all good. One of them is uh, clear miss the target. <laughs> That was a 197, and I pulled one right up over the shoulder, so. Two to the dome. All right, so what we're gonna do is shoot this six inch head box up here. It's got a triangle in it, okay? The body shots are low enough that we don't have to worry about any misses there, and I'm gonna try to see how fast I can put two in that head box. Let's go. Perfect. That was a good one. 106. Trying to get that under one. Two good shots though. I'm going for that triangle. Um, but 106, first shot 80. Uh, 26 split obviously. So that's about right. If I, I can definitely get the first shot down a little lower to get under one. Um, so let's do that. in the dome. There it is. Ah! 103. 103. Some bitch. Two beautiful shots this time, though. I'll tell you, the old Eric Grafell style grip on the trigger guard, even though Scott talk shit on me and <laughs> everybody else it works baby that 143 build drill earlier will prove that even though I pulled a couple <laughs>
Last round of the day. We'll do an unloaded start here. It was a C. Seven yards, 147. Damn it.